The Ericsson S64 air crane helicopter is one of the most versatile, adaptable, heavy lifting helicopters in the world. Two powerful Pratt & Whitney turbine engines generate up to 9,600 horsepower. Six large, fully articulated main rotor blades give the helicopter a maximum rated lift capacity of 25,000 pounds. A reinforced aluminum alloy airframe provides the strength and stability to haul almost any external load as a flying crane. And pioneering innovations developed by the Ericsson team give the S64 an unparalleled multi-mission capability that makes Ericsson Air Crane the immediate option in disaster relief. A long history of commercial heavy lift construction and transmission tower placement has made Ericsson Aircrane the first choice of many Fortune 500 companies across the United States. For precision heavy lift jobs, the Aircrane features an aft pilot station that gives the pilot complete control over the helicopter and an unrestricted view of the load being carried. A patented anti-rotation device keeps the load oriented in the correct direction during lift and placement. A 25,000 pound capacity winch lifts and lowers a long line to the appropriate length for congested area operations. Lift and placement of nearly any object weighing up to 25,000 pounds is handled with routine professionalism backed by over 30 years of heavy construction experience. It is the reason the architect of the United States Capitol contracted Ericsson to remove and replace the famed Statue of Freedom in 1993. With the development of a tank attachment for the S-64 in 1992, Ericsson Air Crane emerged as the new leader in aerial firefighting technology. With the 2,500 gallon tank, the S-64 combines the capacity of fixed wing air tankers with the maneuverability and accuracy of a helicopter. Microprocessor controlled tank doors adjust the flow of water, foam mix or retardant according to eight different coverage levels selected by the pilot. The tank can be refilled in nearly any water source 18 inches or deeper as fast as 40 seconds. A flexible hose hover snorkel fills the tank in streams and ponds, while a ram scoop hydrofoil fills the tank in the ocean or other seawater areas. Ericsson Air Crane is taking urban interface and structure fire suppression to a new level with the water cannon. The spray nozzle uses an hydraulic pump to shoot a stream of water or foam mix up to 160 feet at a rate of 300 gallons per minute. The S-64 can hover outside a burning structure and direct a constant stream into the fire for up to eight minutes. The cannon can also be used to spray foam on structures or vehicles to prevent ignition. Innovations in aerial rescue and transport are on the way with the Emergency Rescue Vehicle, or ERV. The module will be suspended underneath the S-64 and will carry up to 70 average-sized people at one time. Front loading is accomplished with the help of an extendable ramp and handrails. In a recent demonstration, 56 people were loaded inside under one minute. Once on the ground, both side doors open, allowing for complete evacuation in 15 seconds. The side doors can also be lowered on rooftops or other stable areas to permit faster loading of passengers. 
Emergency supplies, mobile communications and command centers, and rescue personnel can also be transported quickly to the disaster site. Ericsson Aircrane stands ready to assist in any disaster relief effort requiring brute strength and life-saving innovation on a moment's notice. When disaster strikes, emergencies arise, and lives are in danger, make Ericsson Aircrane the immediate option.